hi y'all welcome to my channel if you're new here and if you're returning i'm so glad you came back today we are doing a pros and cons of having locks video um so for all y'all who are considering getting started a lot this is the perfect video for you and then for those of you who already have locks let me know in the comments below if you have any additional pros and cons because i know i'm gonna miss out on a few especially since i'm only you know so far in of my journey so y'all can help me out in the comments and <laughs> please like this video and subscribe okay let's start with the cons bad news if you will it's not a lot of them but there are cons to having locks so the first con is something that i'm still getting used to is the fact that your hair is not gonna always be fresh. 75% of the time your hair isn't gonna be like clean, crisp, done, period. Like it's not gonna look, it's just not gonna look fresh. And that's a big change, especially, you know, coming from loose natural or wigs and braids, stuff where you have a lot of control over, you know, having your hair like zhoosh. But with locks, you have a lot of new growth, frizz, whatever else your hair wants to do on that day. So a con is definitely, you don't get to have that super neat look, um, that put together look that I think a lot of us kind of want from our hair. Um, but it's just something to get used to. I love my hair. Like even when it's not a hundred percent, um, like fresh off a of retwist, I still like it. I think right now I'm like two months post retwist and yeah, it's not looking bad or anything. It's just, you can tell that it's not new. So that's definitely a con. The next con is big for me because I already had dry hair before getting my hair locked, but I feel like the dryness just amplified once I got um, my hair locked. So a big con is that your hair will be dry, um, especially the scalp. So you have to spend a lot of time, not a lot of time, but a little bit of time um, moisturizing um, multiple times throughout the week. So you can make sure your hair maintains moisture and isn't, you know, getting irritated or itchy because of the dryness that occurs when you don't add a lot of moisture. Um, that's definitely a con, but it can be managed if you just take care of your hair and spend a little bit more time you know paying attention to it and caring for it and you can definitely deal with that but it's a con for me if you already have dry hair like i did you have to maintain it and then the next con is <laughs> shrinkage um you already have shrinkage as a loose natural but baby these i mean it's just a little bit more irritating now because we all aim for our locks to get longer but even if your hair is long your locks are not going to show your length until they have that weight on them to pull the hair down so yeah like my hair if some of these don't stretch out anymore because they're locking up pretty well but mm -hmm. my hair is like here but with my locks they it's all the way up there y'all know how people be like <laughs> when i was younger i permed my hair before I had locks, my hair was down here. No, my hair was like right here before I had my locks, but because it shrinks up and shrivels, zoom, gone, no length. I mean, I have length, but a lot of my length is gone. So that's the con of having locks. Um, your hair will definitely shrink and shrivel up, but it's gonna come back. Like as soon as the weight hits it, they're gonna drop. And this one is really annoying for me, but um especially this is mostly about starter locks but when you have starter locks and you're active or you work out a lot your hair is gonna sweat out and your retwist is gonna go bye bye it's a huge deal in the beginning when you first lock your hair because it will cause your hair to unravel if you sweat it out too much so i took some time away from working out like being active because i just wanted my hair to lock up so that's definitely a con your hair will get sweat out if you um are active but when i did work out i put a wig cap over my hair and then i put a cotton scarf on top of the wig cap so that like it absorbed all that sweat and just so it didn't 
make my hair super frizzy and that helped a lot so if you're active and you're getting started locks try that out um, it soaks up a lot of the moisture and then it traps it at the same time so it won't allow it to like infiltrate into your hair and get all puffy that is a kind but like other other ones you can fix it um it's not the end of the world okay the next one is that locks can be very polarizing meaning either people are gonna love your hair like they gonna think you the baddest thing walking or they just gonna be like, you know what I mean? It's kind of not that, it's not a lot of in between. Either people are gonna love it or they're not. Unfortunately, it's something to think about if you like work in corporate or you think you're gonna go into that direction um, because you know, certain people don't respond to our hair like how we, how they should or how we will want them to. But at the same time, I feel like if you don't rock with my hair or if you don't rock with who I am as a person and everything that comes with it, then I don't rock with you and I don't want to be a part of anything you got going on. So for me, it's not a big deal, but it's definitely something to think about. You know, it's just something to think about. Unfortunately, we have to think about a lot of things. As, as a black woman, I have to think about a lot of things. So that's just one of them. The next con is that everything gets trapped in your hair, lint, dust, makeup. Everything has the potential to be trapped in your hair. So when you're wearing hoodies, be careful about that. When you're laying on your pillowcase, be careful about that. You just, it's best to protect your hair as much as possible. So wear your bonnet whenever you can, whenever you're chilling in the house, just put your bonnet on. It keeps those little cotton balls from getting in your hair because they're really attracted to the oil in your locks and they will become intertwined in there. And then if it gets intertwined, it'll become a part of the lock and you can't take it out or the lock is gonna have a, like a hole in it. You just have to protect it as much as possible, especially when I'm cleaning, um, doing my makeup or just chilling. I'm just make sure I cover my hair um, so no extra stuff gets in it. And lastly, the last kind slash, and this is a good transition to pros because the last con is the fact that this is a lock journey. So this is a lock journey. That means that you have to be patient. That means that your hair is gonna change all the time. And that's really annoying sometimes because you might've just entered a phase that you really like and then you see your hair changing again. And it's just like, I just got used to you. You know what I mean? So because it's always changing, it can get kind of annoying, but since it's always changing, you have more to look forward to. Like more length to look forward to, more thickening of your locks to look forward to, more style. So that's also a pro, the fact that you're going on a journey and your hair will continuously change. Now we get to go to our pro list, okay? The first pro is the fact that locks are so low maintenance. I literally take off my scarf and my bonnet and I can leave out of the house if I want to. I usually don't, I wet it or add some oil or something like that, but Truly low maintenance. You don't have to do a lot of stuff. Just get your hair retwisted every four to eight weeks and you good. It saves a lot of time. I don't have to wake up as early as I usually do when I had to like curl my hair and stuff like that. And along with being low maintenance, the next pro is that you do not have to go to a salon. You do not have to go to a stylist. If you choose not to, I choose to because I really want nice, neat parts and I don't trust myself to do that. I can really part my hair down the middle. But the pro is that you don't have to go to a salon. You don't have to rely on somebody to do your hair, which means you save so much money. Even though I go to a stylist, I still save a lot of money. The year before I got my hair locked, I was wearing a lot of braids and I think I pay like 250 every like three months to get my hair braided plus maintenance. But now I pay $65 per retwist and I get my hair done like every two-ish months. So I'm saving so much money by having my hair locked. And even before having my hair locked, I used to spend like $500 on um, bundles. And then I had to pay like $250 for the install, $200 for maintenance. Like that gets so expensive and it was really, wearing down my pockets. I was just thinking like how much money I would have if I locked my hair sooner. But we won't we won't worry about coin that's gone. 
which is gonna worry about the one the head but yeah you save so much money by having your hair locked uh, i would do it i would have done it sooner if i knew this the next pro is that your locks are very unique to you even though locks are becoming more popular among women nobody is gonna have your set of locks they can have the same texture as you they can have the same number of locks as you they can do their hair in the same styles and y'all will still look very different because your hair is your hair and hers is hers and they're just completely unique so i like the fact that i don't really look like anybody and nobody can really look like me um with the wigs and stuff you pop out and the girl got the same you know it's it's like the same stuff the same middle parts the same side parts you know nothing that really truly sets you apart from everybody else so i really like that my hair does that for me now next pro is that your hair is still very versatile um even though like at different stages it won't be as versatile as you might want it to be um at the end of it i feel like locks can do almost everything that like a loose natural can do and there's so many different styles to explore um even though there are you know some limitations i just feel like there's so many things that you can do with locks and your hair still looks good even when it's like frizzy and stuff like that so there's just a lot of versatility also when your hair is like shorter you can still wear wigs and things like that which i'm gonna try very soon so stay tuned to that but yeah you just have a lot of freedom with your locks you can do whatever you want to do with it and i i love that the last pro of having locks is the fact that they're just overall bomb beautiful just everything like you'll get so many compliments for your locks it's nice to have a few compliments here and there you know that never hurts anybody at all so i appreciate that and every stage that they go through is something new and it has its own beauty in it that's the last pro i'm gonna put on this video because i talk way too much and this already long time but um, can y'all please comment down below the ones that I left out, the pros and the cons. Let me know what your experiences has been, you know, the different feelings you have about locks. And yeah, that's all y'all. Um, please like this video if you have not done so already because just please like the video. <laughs> Thank you. And also subscribe. Hit the subscribe button if you have not thank y'all so much for supporting me and my channel i thank y'all for all y'all comments i love responding to them i'll see y'all next time bye